right. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to uh, our first round of we'll call VetSec 101. Um, I'm Tom Marsland, the board chair for VetSec, and I just want to take today to answer any Q&A from our membership or from the greater cybersecurity community at large and talk a little bit about what VetSec is and what we do and answer some questions for everybody. Um, so first and foremost, VetSec is a 501c3 registered nonprofit here in the United States. We accept veterans from the United States military and the 14 eyes countries, um, which include most of our friendly allied nations. Um, once a member joins VetSec from our website, they'll receive an email to verify their email address for the site and an invitation to our Slack community. Inside our Slack community is really where most of the magic happens. And I'll walk you through kind of how to make the most of the site and how to make the most of Slack. Um, VetSec is community focused first and foremost. We pride ourselves on our over 3,600 members today that currently provide mentorship, resume advice, and resources to veterans that are looking to transition out of the military into cybersecurity. Inside our Slack platform community, you'll find access to a myriad of technical channels ranging from digital forensics to programming um, to industrial control systems, kind of you name it. And one thing I love about it is that a member can't go, you know, more than 10 minutes from posting a question before you see an answer. It's a great crowdsourced resource. Um, one of my first pieces of advice for anyone joining the Slack is to read the pinned posts in the channels that you are in before you ask your questions, because we've answered a lot of things there. Um, on the website is where we partner with our strategic partners and our community partners. Um, and I'll, I'll pull up the website here in just a minute. But on the website, you'll find uh, our own custom LMS where we're building out courses for people that try and collate our resources into learning paths. That's something we're working on uh, now actively. Um, our next course will be how to make the most of your LinkedIn profile. And then we're going to work on some resume stuff before we move into our technical tracks. Um, and then you'll see a list of all of our partners, um, who they are, and what resources they provide to everyone. So let me go ahead and pull up the website and you'll see what I'm talking about. And as always, if you have any questions as we go, uh, please just throw them in the chat and we'll get them answered. Um, and if anybody's trying to throw questions at me in Slack, um, please just throw them up on the actual uh, on the actual YouTube comments or LinkedIn comments, and I'll see what I can do to answer those. Um, so here's our website. Um, so over here, you know, we talk through what we offer. Um, we do not charge anything for any of our uh, accesses. Um, some of the resources do still have a cost to the members, um, and we see what we can do to help with that if on, a, on an as-needed basis. Um, but we're a very lean organization. This past year, 98% of all of our uh, monetary contributions went straight back to the members. And the rest was uh, for things like running VetSecCon in October and uh, for our administrative expenses like our website. Um, and Izzy, yes, this website or this video will be available for future reference. Absolutely. I plan on trying to do these quarterly um, just as new questions come up and new features come out, I can I can help answer those. Um, so what we offer, you know, our, our community um, learning paths that is still under development, uh, jobs board, and then uh, conferences and workshops. And we're working with our partners to obtain tickets to more conferences so that members in local areas can attend those. Um, we have a donate link. Um, we donate through the PayPal Giving Fund. Um, and then if people are interested in making a more monthly contribution, they can reach out on Patreon. Um, we have a link for that as well. Um, all of the donations are tax deductible. We are a 501c3. Um, and then as we post more news, we'll get them up on the site. So that's kind of the home um, about us. So uh, VetSex history, um, we were founded first kind of as a social community for veterans in cybersecurity and those interested. And then our original founders uh, filed a 501c3 um, to bring more benefits to members. And we've kind of grown since then. I've been a member of VetSec since uh, February of 2020. It's almost two years now. And I've been on the board since June of 2020. 
Um, our mission, first and foremost, is to create a world where no veteran pursuing a career in cybersecurity goes unemployed. Like I said, U.S.-based 501c3 nonprofit. And kind of the thought process behind the mission is twofold. One, uh, nearly 200,000 people transition out of the military in the United States alone every year. Um, all, some of those, obviously not all, but a good chunk do have a desire to gain employment in information technology and cybersecurity. Um, and then if you read anything about the, the cybersecurity skills gap, there is a gap of people that are needed to work in cybersecurity. We try and marry that. You know, veterans is a demographic that has a higher unemployment rate than most of the rest of society. Military spouses is also included in that demographic. Um, and by helping veterans transition successfully out of the military and into cyber, we can help the veteran unemployment and we can help the cybersecurity skills gap. Um, you know, like I said, started with our founders who saw the value in a veteran oriented community within cyber. Um, and there are problems that aren't just how to learn cybersecurity. There are problems like how to navigate the veterans affairs disability process, how to write a resume. Um, and these problems exist whether you're going into cyber or not. And we offer resources to try and help with that. Our first strategic partnership launched in March of 2020 with eLearn Securities Arm, now I&E, &E. um, and our partnership with them to this day still remains our longest. And in October of 2020, we launched our first conference, VetSecCon, which is an all virtual conference open to everyone to learn more about our mission and hear from expert speakers um, in the industry. And we continue VetSecCon annually so far. Uh, VetSecCon this year will be October 27th, 28th, and 29th and again in an all virtual format. Um, a little bit about our current board of directors and our founders. Um, and then of note, um, if you're interested in seeing our financials and where our money goes, this GuideStar Platinum Transparency link at the bottom will take you over to GuideStar, um, which we've earned the platinum seal for our transparency in what we do. Okay, our partners and sponsors. So this is, uh, one of the more exciting sides of things. Um, so all of our partners that are active right now um, that have give, given back to our members through discounts, donations in kind, or other forms of collaboration are listed here with links to their website. Um, and then community partners or organizations with similar visions that we strategize with. Um, and you can scroll down. Anybody who has uh, can go to the page, can scroll down and kind of read what they do. Um, but I will touch on all of them as a way of thanking them here today as well. Um, Immersive Labs is a online lab platform for learning cybersecurity. Um, all of their labs are mapped to the MITRE ATT&CK framework. Um, and you can, uh, through VETSET, gain access to a subset of their labs, about 250 labs. It's the only veteran digital cyber academy in the United States, and it's free to all of our members. Um, they were the ones that also sponsored our Capture the Flag event for VetSecCon this past year. And so um, we, are, we are extremely excited to continue our partnership with Immersive Labs. And I think that they're going to be sponsoring some uh, CTF for VetSecCon 2022. Uh, tech Vets, I'll touch a little bit more um, when I talk about the global tech network, but Tech Vets is a nonprofit in the United Kingdom that operates very similarly to us. And uh, we work very closely with in principled approach to helping veterans. Uh, we wouldn't be here, our community wouldn't be here without Slack and their sponsorship. Slack is what we operate our community platform on. We are currently on a complimentary, complimentary pro plan from Slack. Um, which allows us to secure our channels, to make uh, channels like our mental health channel have an expiration on them. Um, and we are extremely grateful to Slack for continuing that donation to us. Uh, Level Effect is a cyber defense analyst boot camp. Um, they are a boot camp that was founded by uh, an employee that now works over at Huntress Labs, Greg Ake. Um, and they launched the boot camp in July of 2020. They provide one seat each cohort to a VETSEC member. And I'll show uh, people that are watching how you can go and apply for benefits from us as well. Um, always 
still, if you have questions, please throw them in the chat. Uh, CompTIA, we're an academic partner with CompTIA, providing 50% off training vouchers and training material discounts to all of our members, the same as if you had a, a .edu from a school. Um, Fortinet, uh, Fortinet has, uh, they provide this to all veterans, but we administer a program for it through uh, uh, VETSEC. We're an authorized security academy and we get, have access to all of their courses and I can get uh, for NSE four through eight, which are their higher certifications, um, I can get any member of voucher to take those tests at a Pearson View Training Center. Uh, Splunk's partnership. Splunk has the Work Plus partnership where they are uh, committed to donating $100 million as part of a pledge to support training veterans and former service members. And through VETSEC, you can gain access to the Splunk's fundamentals training platform. Mandiant provided 33 members with the full gamut of their cyber threat intelligence training, as well as 11 members tickets to Mandiant's conference with complimentary access to their day one training courses. Um, those were some great training courses, and it was a pleasure to see uh, pictures from our VETSEC members actually attending the conference and meeting in person, especially um, in the wake of COVID-19 and everything going on there. Uh, fiber, uh, fight Cybercrime, the Cybercrime Support Network has a program specifically um, to fight crime in the military and veteran community, Cybercrime. And we partner with them for education, really, to our members and just to be part of the coalition that, to help fight cyber crime against military and veterans. Um, James, thank you so much. Um, we are also equally proud to be working with the amazing organization that you're running over there. And Greg, to answer your question, this is all on the site. I'm actually going through the veteransec.org site right now. Um, i and &E and eLearn Security, uh, through their partnership, we have one voucher quarterly to give to our members for three months of premium access to their uh, lab and video training. And then any member who purchases um, the premium pass will get a, a significant discount, $250 off, which is a 33% discount, as well as uh, they will get one free certification voucher when they subscribe, which isn't something other members get. Um, TCM Security, that's the organization that's founded by the Cyber Mentor, Heath Adams, who's one of our original founders. Uh, he provides discounts as well as one PNPT voucher with training quarterly to a VETSEC member in need. Um, TriHackMe is a new partnership, and they are providing training vouchers to VETSEC members in need at the rate of 10 vouchers per month, uh, one month each. And then finally, the Center for Cybersecurity Training. Um, which is an in-person training, uh, training studio in the D.C. metro area. Uh, they provide some significantly more advanced training to our mid- and senior-level members. Uh, they're providing one seat each occurrence to their Corlin Exploit Development Boot Camp, uh, their advanced course, uh, Mastering Burp Suite Pro, Tactical Exploitation, and Windows Malware Techniques courses. So uh, pretty amazing uh, set of sponsors. And I'm extremely appreciative for their time um, and donating their resources to us. Um, and then at the bottom is our uh, VetSecCon 21 sponsors, um, all listed here with the exception of i &E. That's the logo that needs to go there when they get it to me. Um, but all of these members, uh, sponsors for VetSecCon 21, um, all help with operational funding for us for the year. That is kind of our major fundraiser for the year. Um, over on our resources, um, it'll look a little different if you're not a member yet, but this is what the menu will look like when you become one. Um, the courses tab and member resources and the jobs tabs all are normally hidden if you're not a member. Um, but very similar thing, this just goes into a little bit more in depth on our community, um, through the community. And I'll show you how to access this on Slack. We have a mentorship program for people that don't just want questions and answers, but want a more long time, uh, long time relationship with with an individual member. They can apply for mentorship, um, and then thanks to some awesome members in our Slack, um, they provide resume reviews and support. 
Um, and then I'll show our jobs board and our workshops. Um, and then going down through our training, you can read specifically about the trainings that are offered um, and kind of specifically what the, the model is that's provided. Um, of some particular note, you know, like Level Effects Boot Camp is worth 47 credits uh, for a Bachelor of Science at Purdue University Global. Um, these are some these are some great resources. Um, Robert's asking, how do you decide who gets a voucher and who does not for the partners who offer free training? That's a great question, Robert. Um, for things like the Try Hack Me vouchers, which you know we get ten per month, um, this month I've actually uh, this month I've actually struggled a little bit to give them away um, until today when I made another announcement. Um, a lot of those will just queue up on a first come first serve basis. For the bigger things like the Level Effect Boot Camp, Level Effect had their own prerequisites for it that a member had to meet, um, including some free coursework on the, the site ahead of time. Um, and then other things will typically post an application for, um, you know, I want to make sure that the resources that are given to members, the members will make the most of them. Um, I want to make sure that it aligns to the domain of cyber that the member is looking to go into. You know, I don't want to give a PNPT voucher to someone who's looking to work in a SOC, but I'd rather align that to a penetration tester role. Um, so we'll ask those kind of leading questions to make sure it matches. And then we'll take applications and we'll go through the applications and try and assign it to the member that we think will make the most of it. Um, and that's, that's typically a board responsibility that handles that. And Tyler, um, the website was just launched here in January. So if you were a member of ETSEC before January, then you will have to register for the site separately. Um, now the current flow path is someone will log in and register at the site and we'll send them a, a website access and a Slack invitation at the same time. But they are separate credentials. Unfortunately, I don't have single sign on for that quite yet, but that is something we're working on. Um, and then uh, this is the application form over here. Um, see if I can pull it up. So, you know, email, desired usernames and passwords, and a little bit of demographic information. The demographic information really is uh, used for our grant applications. A lot of those funders want to know if they're helping minority groups more or, or anything like that. And the service dates, um, enlistment and discharge date, that's really just to vet that you are a, a military veteran. And that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so now if you are a member of ETSEC and you apply and you get your access approved, um, member resources, uh, member resources has things like how to request the benefit. So for try hack me, please utilize the benefits request workflow in the VETSEC leadership channel in Slack. Or for Fortinet, we actually have the protected links here for people to apply to join those things. Um, same thing with Level Effect, how to apply and what the dates are. So this is your one-stop shop for resources that you need um, and how you would uh, apply for those resources. So I hope that makes sense. Um, let's see, what else? Um, under courses, this is still a little bit more in development. Um, but we have published one course, VETSEC 101 Orientation, and this course is the first in our offering and really just goes through what I'm talking about here in this webinar. Um, it'll go through, you know, an introduction to VETSEC, the history, the mission, how to navigate the site, the Slack platform, and the mentorship program, how to get a resume review, how to access our jobs board, and how to access our training and put in training requests. It's really just how to make the most of your membership here at VETSEC. Um, and finally, job listings. So strategic partners that, that we gain, uh, you know, some form of comfort with um, are allowed to get accounts to the site. They will not access our resources, but they will just be able to access the job uh, postings and dashboard. And then any VETSEC member can also submit a job when you come here and click on job listings, um, you'll see all of the jobs that are posted by us or our partners. And if you click into one of them, like the senior security analyst position here at Fishtech, you'll see the information 
responsibilities, qualifications, and an application link. Um, and this one specifically is email Tyler, who's a fellow vet site member who works over at Fish Tech, and he'll help get you started. So this is, uh, you know, in remote for uh, position. So this is kind of how the jobs board works. And then your own dashboard if you're submitting jobs yourself. And you can see what those jobs are. Jobs will automatically stay up for a month. Um, we can relist them if, if you're past that time, or you can go relist those jobs. Okay, so that is the website in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions about that, please post it. Um, but I'll also give a quick rundown of the Slack, and then I'll, I'll take any questions that anyone might have. Um, so the Slack, when you join, I'll just pull, pull the Slack over here for everyone. So when you join, um, you'll come into the welcome channel. Our Greek bot will reach out to you and talk about our members guide. And if you're interested in joining our private support uh, channel for women and non-binary, how to join. Um, and then you'll have access to a list of channels here on the left. You'll see more here as a board member. I have access to some private channels that others don't. Um, but a quick rundown. In any channel, you will see pinned posts. And you can go through and read those pinned posts when you have questions. Um, this is particularly important in the resumes channel um, and the job listings, job discussions channel. Um, so here's our resume help channel. And you can see here we have pinned posts as well. Um, our VetSecCon 21 resume workshop video is here. Uh, presentation on writing resumes, uh, resume guidance, and resume templates are all here. So same thing, right? And if you tailor your resume in that form, following the pinned post before you throw it in the channel, then you won't get your resume torn apart quite as much as, as if you don't. Um, there are the, the other channel I want to particularly point out is our leadership channel. So VetSec Leadership. Uh, the VetSec Leadership Channel is where you'll see announcements from me every week. Um, I post a weekly update in the Slack for everybody, and I tag that channel. So if you leave that channel, you're not going to see my updates. And the only way you'll know about new benefits is by going to the website and tuning in. So please stay in the Leadership Channel. Um, and then this channel, as well as the general social channel, General Safe for Work, um, these are where you can make requests. So I'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, first, here in the general channel, all, all of the shortcuts are accessed down here in the chat uh, via the plus sign on mobile if you click the channel name. Um, and then there'll be a block that'll show those shortcuts as well. Um, but here is where you go to request a mentor. So our mentorship program, um, let's see if I can get my video out of the way so you can see that. There, okay. So yeah, the plus down here. Um, and then you click request a mentor, right? And this is for you know, very loose guidance from VetSec um, is, you know, if, if you're looking for a more longer term relationship with an individual member to provide you mentorship in your specific area, then th that would be appropriate for you to apply here. But Dame email, what you're looking for out of the relationship, where are you at in your security career still, what area are you interested in, and anything else. Uh, you submit that, and it's basically like a ticketing system. Any of our volunteers who have volunteered to be mentors uh, can go to the mentor channel. They'll see that ticket. And if you know, you're applying for a mentor and you want to be going to pen testing and one of our red teamers sees it and they want to bring you on, then they'll message you. Um, I don't have a timeline necessarily for response, but we try and get everybody who asks for a mentor. That is a complete volunteer program, though. Um, and then any of our requests for benefits. So the VetSec Leadership Channel has a similar workflow where you can click the plus. Um, and we have two here that are important. So first, benefits request, name, email, what are you applying for? Are you applying for your three-month pass Do you, for INE? Did you buy a pass and need that certification voucher? Do you want to go to the Level Effect Boot Camp? 
you know, the TCM Academy voucher, TriHack Me, or Fortinet's vouchers. Um, why you want the benefit, what area of cyber you're planning on, justify the usefulness. And then many of our partners ask for your feedback on it. Um, this helps with their marketing, this helps with our marketing, and this helps them make their product better for you. So if you're willing to submit a review on how you used it and its usefulness, and then if you're applying for NSC 4 through 7, which voucher do you want, 4, 5, 6, or 7? Um, submit that. That comes directly to me, and I will work on getting that benefit, uh, you know, voucher code or whatever sent over. And then finally, uh, last but not least, just to track our own successes and be able to show impact to the grant writing uh, reviewers and stuff like that. We have a final workflow that's called success story. Um, you know, if you obtained a job because of VetSec, um, if you moved up because of VetSec or anything else that we did to help you, um, please come here and fill out this success story. Um, if there's a member in particular you want to give uh, thanks to, you can put that there as well. And we'll signal boost to them a little. That's the purpose of, of that workflow. So that is us in a nutshell. Um, if there are any questions, I'm happy to take them here in this in the the stream and answer them. Um, but while I'm waiting for questions to show up, I'll uh, just talk a little bit more about what we have coming. Um, so a couple of things. One, um, today actually I announced to our members that through the SANS work study program, we're going to be able to start putting one veteran a month through a SANS course of their choosing. Um, there will be some caveats to that. It's a work study, so they will be helping with the teaching of the course through online moderation or if they attend in person, there's some uh, setup and takedown work that they'll help do um, in return for a, a pretty significant donation from the SANS Institute. Uh, this year also we'll be planning VetSecCon 22, which again will be a three-day event. Um, three-day event that will happen here at the end of October. And we'll be all virtual again. And we'll be looking to bring in cybersecurity and military industry leaders to talk about military transition and how we can achieve our mission of helping everybody get into cyber that wants to. Um, and then going back to the SANS Institute program, um, we will be working to see potential paths to uh, help modify the Vet Success Academy or add to the eligibility requirements specifically for VetSec members and help improve that. Um, if you're listening and you're one of our corporate sponsors or are interested in potentially working together on a program with us in SANS, to help get more military into the industry, please reach out to me. Um, our program uh, is being developed right now for that front. Um, and then we're also going to look at how we can um, acknowledge and help the military spouse community as well. That is a demographic that is severely underemployed. Uh, many non-working spouses because of the constraints that are applied to the military member's career. So we are discussing as a board actively how we can reach out to help that community as well. Um, those are our big things this year, along with continuing to build out courses on our site, which again, you'll find under our resources and courses. Um, and we're gonna basically be mapping our resources to the knowledge and skills that are needed for each career. So if you're interested in becoming a SOC analyst, then we're gonna have a course that will say, hey, go do these labs on Immersive Labs get these certifications from CompTIA, go watch these videos, you know, and we'll help you prep every step of the way. So um, that's really all I have. Um, Tyler has one question, which is what are other channels I suggest? Um, Tyler, that, that really goes to what are your interests? Um, you know, as a board member, I, I stay pretty busy in the channels that I described. Um, but uh, personally, I use the mental health channel. Um, I think that's a great place. Um, if you're still active duty military, then the VA and benefits channel will definitely have something for you. And then whatever, you know, LinkedIn profiles is a great one for networking and whatever other channels align to any of your, your technical aspirations. Um, to be in cybersecurity is to be constantly learning. So 
join the channels and, and learn what you can. Um, the last thing I'll say is there are a lot of low cost and free resources out there. Um, don't spend a ton of money until you come to us and ask what's out there because um, there are a lot of places where you're going to spend thousands of dollars to go to a boot camp to get a Security Plus certification. And we can prep you just as well for those at low cost or no cost to you. So even if it's not out of your pocket, even if it's using your GI Bill, which essentially is your pocket, or uh, vocational rehab or vet tech funding, um, that, that's just a waste of that funding. And we can help you get those certifications easier. Um, yeah, Tyler, thank you. You're asking some awesome questions. Um, when you register for the site, since I assume you haven't been yet, um, go ahead and check the box that would be asking uh, for you to receive our newsletter. So we are going to start a monthly newsletter. The first one went out a couple days ago. The next one is going to go out on February 1st, and it'll be a monthly thing. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my weekly updates, um, which you'll find over in VetSec Leadership, um, and I am going to uh, take those weekly updates and, and put them in a newsletter for everyone. So if you're interested in the newsletter, please, um, in your application to join the VetSec website, then, uh, then yeah, jump on there and, and request that newsletter. Um, if you already have signed up for the website and you haven't and you didn't sign up for the newsletter, or you don't know, then reach out to me directly on Slack. Uh, direct message is fine. Um, you can also message me on other platforms. LinkedIn also works. And I will go ahead and add you to the list. Um, I think that's that's that was one of the driving factors behind the website was to be able to post our resources somewhere where members can find them and see updates and without uh, being logged into the Slack. If you follow us on social media, uh, Veteran Sec on Twitter um, or our LinkedIn page as well, you'll see updates from us there as well. Those are other ways to stay up to date. You'll miss the social involvement and the mentorship, Tyler, but um, you know if you're a little too busy for that and you want to see what's going on, then, then those are some great avenues. Uh, Barry, thanks for joining. Um, yeah, I can definitely post the video on LinkedIn. Um, it's, it's live streaming over there right now. Um, as well as YouTube, I see you're tuning in from LinkedIn. Um, but uh, the video will stay up. Uh, this this is recorded, and it will be up on YouTube. And uh, I'll make sure that link gets on our social media page on LinkedIn as well. Um, I'll tell you the the field of cybersecurity is uh, definitely has some openings. Um, I see a lot of openings for. Uh, roles like security engineering, where it does require some some dev dev experience as well, um, but that that's certainly something to think about. You definitely are going to need at least some foundations in IT um, to move into cyber. But uh, please join VetSec if you're eligible, and we'll we'll chat and see what we can do. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. Stay tuned to the VetSec Leadership Channel for further updates. Um, we're working now. Oh, one last thing I did want to share. Um, I talked about tech vets, our partner over in the UK. Um, you can read more about our partner organizations on a community side here under partners and sponsors. Um, just this year, um, myself, James Murphy over at tech vets in the UK, um, uh, and the leaders of coding for veterans and vets in cyber in Canada, and Australia are forming a coalition this year, um, partnership of, of our four countries with these four nonprofits to share knowledge, experience, and lessons learned amongst the four um, trends. And we're going to be posting uh, joint activities for everyone. So anybody that's on the CTF bandwagon here in VetSec, um, when those come out, please sign up for them because we can't let the Brits or the Aussies or the Canadians beat us. We're going to put a capture the flag on here in the next couple months that will be, you know, essentially VetSec versus the others. So it'll be a little, a little four eyes wars there. Um, and anything else that can be of benefit to our organizations. And you can read more about each of these uh, network partners here 
and I will get those uh, to actually link to their pages and you can read more about the leaders of our organizations below. Um, so that's uh, that's a little bit of VetSec 101 today. Um, I am happy to, <laughs> yeah, James, we'll, we'll, we'll get you. Don't worry. Um, we, we will figure out how to, how to get a little better. Um, uh, tech vets kicked our butt last time. Um, but we'll, we'll come back. We always do. Um, anyways, guys, that's, that's a little bit of VetSec 101. Um, if there's any more questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to me on social media or get with me um, in the Slack or, or anywhere else you can find me. I'm pretty pretty active in the community, and I'm happy to answer your questions. Also, um, inside the Slack, if you do an at, um, at board, you can tag the board, and that will ping all of us on the board. Um, and if you need moderator assistant, you, assistance, you can at mod. And that will tag all the moderators and you can get assistance that way. So again, thanks to everyone for tuning in um, and hit me up in the Slack if you need anything or on social media. And I'm going to try and do these at least quarterly. Um, if there's a greater demand signal for it, then we'll, we'll push them up to monthly. But I think this is a great start. So thanks everyone that showed up today and I'll catch everyone later. Bye.